Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Ranking Member, uh, members of uh, the committee that I proudly serve on. It's my pleasure to introduce Governor Peter Shumlin of Vermont. Uh, first of all, a couple of things uh, about uh, Peter. Uh, he's a private sector person. Uh, he and his brother established uh, and expanded a very successful uh, private business, Putney Student Travel, in southern Vermont. Uh, he's been on the front line of creating jobs, of having to uh, pay uh, good wages uh, and good benefits and deal with the practical realities of keeping a business going day in and day out, expanding it, growing it, and being an employer. Uh, he also served in our citizen legislature in Vermont for many years, first in the House of Representatives, uh, and then for several terms in the State Senate. And Peter, as the uh, President Pro Tem of the State Senate, that's our Senate leader, uh, served more years as Senate President than any other Vermonter in history. Uh, and that's 10 years. So he comes to his job with legislative experience, with private sector experience, with the obligation to pay bills and make the trains run on time. He is now serving as governor of Vermont, after being elected uh, this, in this past election. Just to give you a sense of how Vermont operates, uh, he won a primary uh, with f four other Democrats. And there was a recount because his original uh, margin of victory was about 200 votes. During the recount, Peter and the four other candidates rented a van. And while we were awaiting the outcome of who won, went on a unity tour around the state of Vermont talking together rather than fighting each other during the recount. Every single member of five excellent candidates all said, we trust our town clerks and just let them do the count and we'll accept the result. He also comes to the job with the benefit of a tremendous history that we in Vermont are proud of, a bipartisan uh, tradition. And it embraces really two things. Number one, we fight hard in Vermont, Republicans and Democrats just like we do here. But in Vermont, Democrats think that Republicans usually have a merit to their argument. And Republicans think Democrats have something to say. And we actually do our best to listen to each other because both sides have enough humility to appreciate that, in fact, there's truth on both sides and we've got to come together for the good of the state. And just a little bit of background, we had a Governor Snelling uh, Richard Snelling, very respected and revered. We had a downturn in the 80s. He did something with a Democratic Speaker of the House to try to adjust uh, the fiscal situation because we pay our bills. We don't, in Vermont, have a balanced budget amendment, but we're cheap and we pay our bills. We're frugal. He, the Democrats agreed to cut programs that were really important to them. The governor agreed to a temporary surtax because we needed some revenues. It worked out. We came into balance. The taxes went down, and we were able to support our programs. We then had Governor Dean, in good times, he cut taxes. He's a, a Democrat. And uh, when he did that, uh, he Im implemented some tough budget reforms to make sure we didn't spend just because we had a surplus. We sent money back to the taxpayer, and we put into place budget controls. Peter Shumlin is carrying on that tradition. Uh, when we got into a fiscal situation, Governor Douglas, his predecessor, Republican work with the unions and said, hey, we've got to share the sacrifice here. They negotiated pay cuts. They started looking at benefits. They sat down at the table and worked it out. And there was a sense of common purpose, shared sacrifice. And that's the second approach that's been embodied in Vermont. If there's pain that has to be uh, sustained, we have to share that pain together. And what it's done is helped us make progress even in tough times. Peter, just to give you an idea, as Senate President, when we had a large Democratic majority, he did something that uh, you'd get kind of a, you'd get mentally tested around here if you did it. He appointed Republicans to chair major committees. So in Vermont, the two principles are listen to each other, there's truth on both sides, and work together and share sacrifice when sacrifice is required. So it's my pleasure to introduce Governor Peter Shumlin of Vermont. I thank the gentleman. Pursuant to committee rules, all